Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. I just want to give you an update on my sugar baby bush watermelon. I started from seed in April of 2020. This is my first time growing a watermelon in zone 5B. I decided to use the vertical method of growing watermelon because I'm trying to utilize and occupy all parts of my backyard and when space is limited you could actually grow food vertically. In this particular case in my first video you could see that I was hand pollinating and the reason for that is I wanted to keep a screen covering over my watermelon to try to prevent critters from taking my watermelon and also to prevent other insects and diseases that watermelons are, uh, um, that are susceptible to. So this was my decision to manually pollinate each one of these watermelons for the sake of just having a little more control on, how, on the outcome of the watermelon. Now, some people are able to grow their watermelon freely on the ground and let it sprawl out, and that works as well. Others don't have issues with having critters and insects um, uh, attacking their plants because they're probably in a different environment. But unfortunately for me, this being the first time growing watermelon, I wanted to ensure my success. So I want to show you a lot of my watermelons that are actually really growing. As you can see, I have one right here that was hand pollinated. And then I have one up here that's also hand pollinated. And then if we move around to the side of the watermelon plant, you can see I have another one that was also hand pollinated. And then I have one watermelon, I think that's gonna abort. You see this one right here? Now I did attempt to hand pollinate it, but it looks like it's aborting. But that's okay. I have a, 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 a three successful ones. Here's another one that I hand pollinated. We'll see how well that does. And then there's another baby watermelon that's coming in right there. And I have just got through hand pollinating that one. So just wanted to give you an update that I right now I have three watermelon that's growing and all hand pollinated. First time growing the sugar baby bush watermelon. So um, this has been a real excite, excitement in seeing the progress of growing this watermelon vertically in zone 5B. Just wanted to share this update with you and I'll keep updating you on the progress of this particular watermelon plant and thank you for watching.